So, Bill, we've known each other for, what, 25 years, 25. more? Oh my yeah. gosh. Um, and you, we met at Dartmouth, and uh, you got your PhD, and um, big smarty pants, and professor now. Um, what was it like coming down, having been, grown up in New England, gone to a New England school, coming down here to Alabama, to the University of Alabama to be a, a teacher? What, what was it like? What did you discover about the students here? Well, I guess one of the things I discovered, which wasn't, I won't say it's a surprise, but the students are really good. I mean, at the undergrad and at the grad level, I've been very happy with the level of students here at the University of Alabama. And growing up in New England, I mean, growing up in the 60s and 70s, maybe it's a little different there because I don't live there anymore, but if you're a bright kid in New England and you're thinking about college, you're probably thinking of a private school. You're thinking Ivy League, Amherst, Williams, Middlebury. Um, you, you may nowadays be thinking UMass or UConn. I don't know. When I was growing up, you kind of didn't think that. So when I got an undergrad from Dartmouth and a PhD from Brown, I just kind of thought, well, of course, bright kids go to those kinds of schools. But when you get to most of the rest of the country, the South is one of those areas in the Midwest mm -hmm. and the West, there are a lot of really bright students going to the local state school because mom or dad went there because it's a really good school because they never thought of going anywhere else maybe now with you know financial situation of the world it, it's more economical but uh, I used to be surprised to have such good students uh, but I'm not now I mean there are good students everywhere and we certainly have a lot of them here at the University of Alabama so it's, it's great that we have really good students here at the grad and undergrad level